well in her answer there. So Wednesday, Rob, was National School Walkout Day, and we've already touched on this a little bit. Molly broke down these protests and the larger picture of the school safety debate that is currently going on. Yeah, it's funny. I'm not sure if school safety is getting a ton of coverage. Gun control is definitely getting a ton of coverage. And what's weird about that is everything we've learned about this horrific shooting in Parkland, um, it's not a story that really naturally lends itself to a serious gun control conversation so much as a conversation about government failure at the local uh, at local and federal level. I mean, you had multiple tips to federal officials that went unheeded. You had just scandalous corruption at the local sheriff's department and then problems, institutional sort of systematic problems at the school and how they deal with school discipline and protecting students and whatnot. And yet we're talking about gun control and we're talking about gun control not because of student fervor, although there is student fervor and it's actually fine and good for students to be politically involved regardless. I mean, I'm I'm not making a statement about the type of politics involved, but there's nothing wrong with young people being politically involved. And, And I know plenty of people who got their start in politics at that age, and it's a good thing. But the reason why we're talking about gun control is because gun control groups are using the students to push this message. And they did a lot of work and planning leading up to this point to make it so that they could quickly spring to action when a school shooting took place. I mean, money doesn't appear out of nowhere. Coordination doesn't appear out of nowhere. It takes a lot of effort and money to get people to state capitals and national capitals and to organize boycotts. And there were a lot of far left and left groups working together in tandem. And they, they and I'm, again, I'm not even criticizing it. I'm just saying they worked together well. And in fact, if people who have different political views want to see good results. They have to put a lot of effort into planning and coordinating. But nobody should be deceived into thinking this is like like some 16-year-old student who feels differently is going to receive the same cushy treatment that these students did, because they're not going to have the high-priced PR handlers who know all the bookers at CNN. They're not going to have the media coaching and the money and the celebrity endorsements that cushion and protect and make sure that you can you know, have a town hall on national television where nobody gets asked tough, que- tough questions from, from the opposite angle. Um, that, so it's just, I don't think kids should be naive into thinking that they can push back on this and, and receive the same results that these kids are, because these kids are really just being put forward with serious backing, even if they all, I mean, and, and there really is disagreement among young people about whether to protect uh, Second Amendment rights or whether to push back against them. That's that's a legitimate disagreement, but that's not really what's going on here so much as major planning. Molly's latest.